Well, we're back at our spot where we were yesterday and we're gonna have some breakfast. And uh, Chris is a mountain house representative, so he's always got mountain house on hand. <laughs> Huh? Well, so we were just kind of looking around in this car thinking, wow, what could we find in here that might be old? And Chris looks in the door and sees this Tupperware thing, and it's it's a geocache. Check this out. There's a car, a chess piece, a little seashell necklace, a little pen that says Pass Blue Ribbon, oh, a whistle keychain, a carabiner. Oh, what's this say? Alaska, USA. What's the date today? The 28th? 27th, I thought. Close enough. Pencil sharpener. Cool. Little geocache right here in the car. So I found this bumper sticker on this car. It's for the local army base, Fort Wainwright. But this is an old one because 533. Like this all the time, these petals, but I never saw the flower like that. That's yeah. cool looking flower. It is. It's like a fork. Yeah, so I'm back to that little pal of bottles this was the other green one i wanted to take it's another sun sweet and then i had a cloth and pickle jar and uh, vinegar this cool looking juice and this one here digging up all kinds of old cans what does this say Aunt Sue's Old Fashioned Country Style. Something Wild Pure Honey. Huh, it's a can of honey. Peanut butter jar, uh, can. All right, well, let's look around and see what we can find. Look at my finger. I splinted it and bandaged it all up so I won't bang it on anything. And check this out, I just dug out this jar strawberry jelly i think oh that's nice man still nice and sharp it's the old version of a reciprocating saw yeah that's cool yeah. sweet I've been digging here and look at this little bottle that melted and that one still has the lid on it but it's a big melted glob so I've been digging down in the slow hole and look at this look at that freaking saw That's a monster saw. That's what I thought I was pulling out of the ground. Nice bow saw. You can still get blades with that, I bet. That thing's huge. So I've been digging in this pit. And I just found this. That's a ring. That dude had big fingers. Also been finding more lids to melted pieces of glass. Weird little shapes. Check that out, just dug that up. It's like a broken coffee mug. So I just dug up this sugar-free dad's root beer can. Nice. And that's oh, in, in good shape. Yeah, it's in excellent shape. Well, we've been digging around in this old cabin. I found this old, looks like a light off a car or something. And Chris found this plate. They have like salmon on them. It says certified China on it. 
Certified China. Uh -huh. Sterling. Certified China. And then we found this, what we think is an old can crusher. Yeah. Kind of mounted on the wall. That's probably why we haven't found any full cans. So I was up here beside this. <laughs> Whoa. Big bottle. Well, we could only go for a short hunt today, so we've all got to get back. So we're getting ready to go, and uh, I'll show you what I did bring home. Nothing spectacular, but hey, it's some bottles. And we had fun. Well, hey guys, welcome to the Roundup. But we got home just in time. It's sprinkling rain now. Check out all the stuff we found today. Look at this cool saw that uh, saw blade that Chris found. He was running around with my metal detector finding stuff. I found this ring. I'm assuming it goes around something. Found a couple cool lids. Here's an old Clawson pickle lid. <laughs> And then we found a few numerous jars. Check this out. Here's a jar of Skippy peanut butter. It was only a half a cup. That's kind of weird. A couple other little jars. Found this embossed Clawson pickle jar. And it didn't have a lid, but I found this lid. And it's in great shape. I don't think any of these bottles are real old. 50s probably this one has a cool design on the bottom this one here uh, my mom and uh, Chris's dad both think that this was a vinegar bottle it says 32 fluid ounces and then I found another one of these green bottles and I believe it's another juice bottle not old but I like the color green and then I found this bottle. I just kept it because it had the cool designs on it. I don't know if I'll add these to my collection or not, but I thought they looked pretty cool. All right, guys, uh, until next time, everybody have good luck and happy hunting, and stay tuned because we're going out and exploring every day. We'll find something good here eventually. All right, see you guys later.